We are a Southbound Station. I'm Steve. I play bass guitar and do some vocals. My name is Dennis Higgins. I play drums and do vocals as well. I'm James Wilgarecki. I play guitar and do vocals. We do a, a blues-influenced rock with a little touch of funk. Funk, yes, definitely. And, and so if, if you listen to us, it would be like uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan or ZZ Top. It meets James Brown. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and some songs, yes, well, some songs. And yeah. and the key for us, I think, is that we're we're trying to keep things accessible to people, fun and accessible with uh, chord progressions that people are going to understand and really uh, resonate with their ear. Well, we are going to be playing at the Ormond Beach Original Music Festival. That's on September the twenty fifth at Rockefeller Plaza in the gardens there. So uh, looking forward to that and um, working on new music all the time. I have a song called Find Your Light and Steve and James have been helping me with, but it's still in the works right now and uh, looking forward to putting our originals out there. Hang at the uh, local mix here. Um, it's actually round two of a Battle of the Bands. We're getting to play into that. Uh, we got a, a bunch of new originals that we have uh, working on, trying to get ready for that. Um, and that's kind of, uh, I think we're kind of excited about a lot of the originals that we're doing now. Um, good mix of, like uh, Steve was saying, of, of funk, uh, a bunch of funk tunes, some blues, and some kind of like a heavier, heavier hard rock stuff, yeah, which is pretty cool. Some, so. some heavier rock influenced blues in as well. And I just want to give a shout out to uh, people down at the patio on Seabreeze. We played down there several times on their uh, Thursday night jam night, so a yeah. shout out to them can be found on Facebook. We have a Facebook page, uh, Southbound Station Band. Uh, and, and you can go to our YouTube. website, southboundstation.com, which will lead you, which will forward directly to our Facebook page. Yes. Yep. I'm always inspired by my family and my kids, and uh, you know, it, it drives you to keep moving along every day. Um, and I think musically, these guys, uh, you know, keep us, keep me focused, making sure that I'm trying to get better at my instrument. Um, I think, you know, it's interesting to note that we all pick this up again later in life. We all played music as kids and then later in life started playing again and, and, and found each other. Um, and we're having so much fun with it. And I think, uh, you, know, for, you know, for us also, I think other musicians is a big inspiration. Mm -hmm. And, for, you know, for the guys, that, I mean, how many guys our age are sitting out there in their, you know, in their bedrooms or in the garage playing to, you know, their headphones or, or, or cover songs that should get out there and meet some people and, and play live. I mean, even if it's not original music, even if it's just covers, go find some friends, go to an open jam and, and go play. And, and, and that was really, I think that, that's a, a huge inspiration for me. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the same things. Um, for me, music has always been a way to just get away and kind of escape from the day to day rigors of life and reality and just kind of use your imagination use your mind and explore and these guys have helped me grow as a drummer and as a musician and there's nothing you can practice all the time in your bedroom and it's great i still do it but there's nothing like playing live with other musicians just can't beat that and you know and my kids i have grandkids and they're an inspiration my little grandson's always trying to bang on my drums and stuff so it's a good thing <laughs> uh same thing is basically is this family, uh, you know, get to uh, pr uh, do traveling with my wife and we're hopefully we can start doing that again. Um, and that's what we're, we're actually making some plans of doing things with that. Um, but also obviously the music, I've always played music. I've been, been playing guitar now for almost 40 years. So it's always been there. But unfortunately, if I had to give it up because of life, families, things like that. Mm -hmm. and, now we'd be able to come back, and it was great to find these guys, and we have like, like minds uh, of, yes. of music that we like, and and then uh, you know it was the covers initially, but now we're doing these, a lot of these um, originals, which I I think is is awesome. I've I've got a whole bunch of tapes of riffs and things that I always listen to and try to find, and we I present them, and you know we make up make up songs with them, and they're it's, it's unbelievable how easy it has been I think mm. uh, for us to do that. Um, yeah. Usually, uh, Steve or Dennis will hear a, a riff and lyrics come up just like that. They hear a line and whatever, and from there we make a song. And that's, that's fun, and that's been 
something that's really kept me going is you know wanting to do that is is to make those uh, original songs. Yeah, and I think one, one more one more thing in terms of inspiration has been the people who come out to watch original music. You know, it's a, they come out and support the things that you know guys like us and all the other bands that we know that are playing original stuff and they're doing covers too but you know they're expressing themselves locally with original music um it's you know the fa the people who come out to watch that are are great yes question is if money was not an issue how would you spend your time uh well, i've still got little kids so i expect that uh, my life wouldn't change that much still gotta send them to school and make sure they get an education um but i I think I have a pretty blessed life and, I, and I, I think that I'm able to do a lot of the social things that I enjoy doing and I think I would just do more of that, right? Playing more music, uh, doing some more boating or fishing and, um, you know, and probably doing more of the volunteer and giving back to the community type of work that I do. I just have more ability to do that. Uh, my question from the box is, what do you want to let go of? Um, Right now, I'm just trying. Pounds. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, we'll, ten, we'll start with ten. We'll start with ten. Me, we'll start with ten. <laughs> but it's just some of uh, just maybe some anxiety issues, you know, stress. Try not to let you know stress get the better of you. Try to be a little more even flow. You know, that's probably about it. My question is, what makes you lose track of time? Uh. I know it sounds odd, but just not having enough time, I guess, is, is always trying to do too many things at once is my, mm. my problem. Because uh, there's so many things that I want to do. Um, you know. Thank everybody who's uh, supported Southbound Station. It's nice when you've practiced at something and see the fruition of, of your labor, then people will see it and, and enjoy it. So I'd just like to thank everybody out there. If you have a chance, go to our Facebook page, Southbound Station, and maybe come out and check us out at the Museum of Arts and Sciences or September 25th at the Ormer Beach Original Music Festival. Mm -hmm.